Hello, my name is Cecilia, and welcome to today's video news. On November 3rd, China's State Council stressed the high quality development of the rare earth industry at a key meeting. The meeting called for efforts to explore better management of rare earth, seeing it as a critical strategic resource. So, what makes rare earths so important? In fact, rare earths are neither rare nor earths. They include 17 nearly identical, silvery white, heavy metals. While they are relatively plentiful in earth's crust, even more abundant than copper, their production proves challenging. Rare earths tend to be spread out in their ores. So, getting purified rare earth metals requires processing enormous amounts of raw ore at great expense, thus making it rare. You might think you would only come across rare earths in your chemistry textbook, but they are part of your daily life. A typical example is their contributions to smartphones. Neodymium, for example, plays a crucial role in making the tiny yet powerful magnets responsible for the vibrations in your phone. Meanwhile, Elements like terbium are responsible for producing the bright and pretty colors that grace your screen. Known as the vitamins of modern industry, the rare earth resource has been used in many industries. In national defense and security, they are used to make things like precision guided missiles, night vision goggles, and lightweight armor. For example, each US F-35 fighter jet contains about 417 kilograms of rare earth reported the Washington Post. Rare earths are also key to making semiconductors. Being great at controlling conductivity, they can help make semiconductors smaller and more efficient. Due to their usefulness, rare earth stands as an essential strategic resource for every nation. China holds an absolute advantage in this area. Having over one third of the global rare earth reserves, China uses cutting-edge techniques for rare earth purification. Reuters reported that in 2022, China accounted for 70% of the world's rare earth mine production. During his 1992 Southern tour, Deng Xiaoping recognized the significance of these elements, saying, the Middle East has oil and China has rare earths. With strong determination, China aims to safeguard this precious resource and make the best of it to power its ongoing development. Thanks for watching today's video and see you next time.